Now, today's top stories and Power of 5 weather from News 5, sponsored by Akron Children's Hospital. Hello, I'm Danita Harris, and here's a look at today's top stories. Starting today, more Ohioans are now eligible for a coronavirus vaccine. This includes people with several medical conditions, regardless of age. There are 14 different health classifications, including sickle cell anemia and lung disease. Teachers in Ashland, Ashtabula, Portage, and Richland counties will also join thousands of other educators in the state and get their COVID-19 vaccine. The LaGrange Township community is rallying to help a Lorraine County deputy who lost everything in a house fire this weekend. Thankfully, the deputy and his family escaped safely, but they are in need of diapers, clothes, and other necessities. You can drop items at the LaGrange EMS station or send a check to the Lorraine County Sheriff's Office. Right now, police are looking for the driver who hit a man in downtown Cleveland, then took off. Now the restaurant community downtown is trying to help him with his long road to recovery. Keith Finley was leaving his job at Dive Bar on West 6th Street just before 11 Thursday night when police say a driver hit him as he was crossing the street near the Justice Center and never stopped. He was rushed to the hospital for immediate surgery where he is still recovering. And the fact that he was hit by a car going over 50 miles an hour is absolutely, it's, a, it's miraculous that he's still with us. Friends and family are hopeful police may be able to track down the driver who hid him using surveillance footage from nearby businesses. Meantime, an online fundraiser has been set up to help with the medical bills. If you'd like to help, we have a link on our News 5 app. If you have to go out today, give yourself plenty of time to get where you're going. Slick road conditions caused a semi truck to overturn on I-90 westbound near 41st Street this morning. Luckily, no one was seriously hurt, but the highway had to be shut down so crews could remove the truck. And for more details about today's weather, let's check in with meteorologist Trent McGill. Yeah, thanks a lot, Danita. We've got more snow. We've had this break for the last few hours, and it'll last until about the evening drive. Widespread, steady snow, heavy at times, but there's a little curveball Mother Nature's throwing at us. Check this pink out. That right there, that's some warm air up between the ground and the clouds. There's going to be a layer of warm air, so it's melting the snow, and then it's refreezing as sleet or freezing rain on the surface. So I think numbers are going to be cut quite a bit if you do get a couple hours or where you get a couple hours of that ice. Elsewhere, I expect it to all pull out of here by the morning drive, but we're going to have a mess to clean up for Tuesday. Where the ice is, less snow. Where there's less ice, there's more snow. I'll show you totals coming up. Sponsored by Akron Children's Hospital.